Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and uh, I wanted to give you guys a update I guess on the on the mowers and the setup for the season and also answer a question that I've been getting a little bit here and there. So uh, the setup has been working out amazing. Um, it's very efficient. The uh, the time and effort that it's it's saved us has been tremendous. I mean, I I don't even know really how to measure, um, except just to say that uh, that things are working out great. The green touch racks have been great. Um, it's been really nice to have everything secure, um, have everything in a in a nice organized place, and um, so the setup itself is working great. The machines. The Z3X mowers, guys, they are freaking awesome. Um, I cannot believe how much time they're saving us. You know, even even the first week or two of the mowing season, just kind of getting used to the machines, and uh, you know, getting getting our technique down on on using just stand-on mowers um, was still saving us time. They're just so much faster. I mean, the, the ground speed that you can mow at is literally twice as fast as what I was doing before on my uh, commercial John Deere's. Um, you know, the, the John Deere mower's top speed was like six or seven miles an hour, and, and you would never mow that fast. I mean, you might mow three mile an hour, and, um, you know, even if you could ride it faster, the cut quality just wasn't there to go any faster. And these Z3s, uh, not only are they quick and smooth, but uh, you can haul butt and still be getting good cut quality. Now, you don't run 12 miles an hour and get good cut quality. Um, you know, maybe on a really well manicured weekly yard you might, but um, I don't think you would realistically do that. But I can say that we've been consistently running about 6 miles an hour and getting good cut quality. So that's, like I said, twice the speed I was getting out of my John Deere's. So uh, I've got 41 hours on the 61 inch mower and uh, I think 34 or 35 hours on the 52 inch mower. Uh, and we've been running both of them every day. It's just a lot of times um, I'll keep going on the, on the 61 inch and Gage will finish up with an area and he'll start weed eating. And so I just we just end up putting more hours on the uh, on the 61 inch mower. Uh, they've been great on hills, um, banks. Haven't had any issues anywhere. I mean, I'm just honestly, I have nothing negative to say about these mowers except that they're hard to keep clean. But that's <laughs> that's any mower. Um, it doesn't matter what color, what style. Um, they get dirty and they stay dirty during the mowing season and you get them cleaned up and uh, the next time you take them out they're dirty again so I mean that's that's just part of the game but uh, the, one of the questions that I get on these mowers is the uh, fuel efficiency with the uh, with the large engine size and just the size of the mower and all of that um, I get questions on fuel efficiency and uh, you know, I haven't measured necessarily uh, gallons per hour or anything like that, and it varies a lot. But what I can say is today we started out, uh, both machines were on full. And I'm not going to be able to show you the fuel gauge in here because uh, you won't be able to see it in this lighting. But on the 52 inch, uh, started out with a full tank today, and I just checked it and it's setting right at half a tank. Oh, like I said, it gets used just a little bit less than the 61 inch. Um, but it has the 33 horse Vanguard EFI. And I used up, or we used up half a tank in about 8 hours of mowing. And that was 14 total properties. Um, several of those were hour long properties because they're big commercials and they just, uh, there's just a lot of ground to cover and they take a lot of time. Now, you know, if we work a, a 10 hour day, are we on the mowers for 10 hours? No, of course not. Um, a lot of that time is weed eating, trimming, edging, uh, blowing, etc. 
although a lot of times on the bigger properties with the uh, blowing especially uh, we'll still be running the mower because I've I've gotten into the habit of running around the big uh, big parking lots on the commercial properties with the backpack blower on on the on the Z3s and uh, just saves a lot of walking you know so so yeah they're they're getting ran I'd say probably three quarters of that time so in an eight hour day um, it's probably about six hours straight mowing half a tank of fuel so uh, in my opinion that's not bad at all um, in fact it's more efficient than my John Deere's I was filling them up every day um, I might be able to go a day and a half on a tank of fuel so uh, the 61 inch Z3X is sitting just slightly below half a tank um, again it gets ran a little bit more than the 52 inch does it's also got a bigger engine it's got the 37 horse CFI but uh, you know same amount of runtime today and I've still got enough fuel in both mowers that we can run again tomorrow and I don't have to worry about fueling up so uh, you know to me that's that's kind of what I'm looking at is my bottom line how often am I gonna have to fuel up and how many hours am I gonna get out of a out of a tank of fuel so I'm pretty happy with uh, with what they're doing so far um, I think that's pretty good especially for that engine size I mean that's a lot of engine guys and I mean these things just power through things like crazy I mean thick heavy grass wet grass leaves it just doesn't matter I mean they just they just plow through it and uh, and keep right on trucking and um, to me that kind of fuel mileage seems really good now I'm sure there are mowers out there that that might get uh, you know better fuel mileage but comparing apples to apples and comparing apples to oranges um, if you've heard that said before you know there's a big difference in mowers I mean these are heavy duty heavy built commercial mowers with big engines I mean big freaking engines some of the biggest engines that they put on a mower on the market so uh, so what they're getting I'm pretty happy with um, anyways that's one of the questions I get from time to time um, guys that are interested in these mowers and just curious what the fuel mileage is like or fuel economy fuel efficiency whatever so uh, just thought I'd throw it out throw that out there while I had a minute um, we're done for the day so uh, gearing up for another full day tomorrow and hopefully we won't get rained out we've got uh, whole load of leaves and uh, decorative grasses that we cut off we need to take to the dump tomorrow we've got to go pick up some some uh, trees that we cut down and throw them on there just some small uh, shrubbery type trees so we got to do that first thing in the morning um, go get the trailer emptied off and then uh, come back and switch trailers and take off mowing and we have I think 10 properties to do tomorrow so it'll be a little bit easier day than today uh, like I said, we did 14 today, and uh, some of them were pretty good size, so quite a bit of time involved. But anyway, I hope you guys are uh, hope you guys are as busy as I am. This has been our busiest season so far. I mean, we are just absolutely killing it this year. Um, I think I'm up to 50 some yards and about 14 weekly accounts. Um, half a dozen commercial accounts and I mean we were just running our butts off so and I'm still doing uh, you know full-time on the fire department so that's uh, that's two shifts a week about 50 hours and then we've been working anywhere from 10 to 14 hours a day doing lawn care so I mean we're just we're killing it this year but uh, anyway hope you guys are doing good hope you're staying busy hope you're getting out there and making some money and uh, I'll let you go for now, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.